think San Francisco is the most beautiful city in the world, for sure in the United States. Every ship on its way to San Francisco is greeted by Golden Gate Bridge. Always stunning, always magnificent. And behind it there is the most beautiful, eclectic, vibrant, romantic, slightly bruised now, but nevertheless the most beautiful city of San Francisco. It is like a magnet attracting everything and everybody that is different. And I'm not just talking about sexual orientation, this is well known. I'm going to talk about something else. Sit tight. Henry Haight an obscure banker that nobody has ever heard of. His nephew was a governor of California during the gold rush, but nobody knows about that either. But strangely, that name rings the bell. It does sound familiar a little bit. Haight Street in San Francisco was named after that guy. Ooh, now we're interested. It stretched from the Golden Gate Park all the way to downtown. Hate Street is the cradle of the hippie movement. The brand Sex, Drugs and Rock and Roll started here. At least this is what they claim. Of the three, only drugs are doing well. Sex and Rock and Roll not so much. The legacy of Jimi Hendrix, Grateful Dead, and Janis Joplin is still here. This is the house where Jimi Hendrix lived for a few years. It is difficult to guess, but I think that the street looks pretty much the same now as it looked in the 60s. In some strange way, it feels like people got stuck and did notice that life around them moved on. It is a little surreal around here. You had me. I have you That's enough to paint lonesome black and blue yeah, I have you And you have me That puts a bow up in the sky Tells the rain to cease We've had up And we've had down We've had warm nights We've gone round and round What I know there is a strange nostalgic flair of the days long gone with the dominance of cheap second-hand clothing stores, depressed artists that think that self-expression is the most important thing in art, and an abundance of marijuana dispensaries, smoke shops, which are peculiar but not really a tourist attraction. All of it boiled together with unanswered political frustration, sexual frustration, racial tension, and poorly defined rebellion. All in all, sad, but I loved it. So you got a job?
This is your hate street now.